going on guys? This is part one of the Walmart workstation. Pretty much got all the components. Um, I'm just doing a little layout here, a rough layout of how it's gonna look. I guess I'll go over it. Right here we got the Inwind 600 watt Desert Fox Commander 3. It is a 80 plus gold, semi modular. Yeah, fairly nice. I wanted a little more wattage, but as you can see, uh, yeah, this power supply fits pretty good with the theme I'm going for. Next is the X79 Saber Juice with the 3930K underneath that ugly stock heatsink. Yeah, so. I test booted this, I had a couple headaches, it wasn't showing a display, it was posting up and then I was getting a debug light on the DRAM, so I moved the dims around and got it to post, thank god. It's worked with both the i7-3820 it came with and the 3930K I bought separately for this build. So yeah, it's a pretty nice build, I mean board, sorry. I took out that fan because it was annoying. I was planning to take it out anyway. I wish I could take out that one. I'm looking for a water block, but so far everything I've seen has been discontinued. So, yeah. Underneath here is just a dummy card. It's just, I uh, got an R9290 in another build right here. Just testing it out. Works fine. It's very hot. It works fine, but anyway, yeah, so what I'm going to be planning to do here, I got a riser pack, but I only have one, it's not like super long, so I'm going to be building a little like, like a bridge that's going to go over the bottom of the motherboard, and it's going to sit face up, but like just covering the motherboard, probably around like there, so yeah, I just got it sitting on this box right now to kind of get an idea how it's going to fit, this from the bottom on, there will be nothing there, it's, I'm going to do like a Benson acrylic underneath. I was thinking about putting some like bullets on the side to make it look like bullets were standing it up. That'd be cool. And yeah, that's my cat being annoying in the background there. Here we got the dark side uh, reservoir. Don't know the exact size of it. I think it's like the medium range. I got the exact same one in red liner. And then we got the Thermaltake P500 pump here. Uh, that fitting there was just like a little test fitting. I got all black. I actually just got a big bag of fittings here. I got a big bag of fittings. And I'm going with cro or uh, copper nickel plated tubing on this. So yeah, it's going to look cool, I think. I'm going to be using black fittings with pretty much the same color as this fitting tubing. So yeah. Then for the SSD boot drive, main drive or whatever. It's an ADATA SP550 240GB SSD. It's going to sit right there. And here I bought, it's on its way right now, I have a 2TB Western Digital Blue, I believe. Or, no, Seagate Barracuda. One of the two, same thing. It's a 2TB HDD. I got this lovely Bits Power water block to keep that cool. So then, yeah, I'm going to have that run along the bottom. This box here. I ordered a SD card reader slash USB port slash fan controller so yeah this is going to be like my editing slash red rendering computer so yeah this is, I bought this SD reader that's not it here it's not showed up I just using my fan controller box from my other build as a like little dummy area for the where it's going to be but yeah it's a deep cool something it was pretty cheap nothing too flashy but this build I wasn't going for flash I'm not going for like super bright flashy LEDs or anything I think I'm just gonna use white LEDs for the background and but then yeah the the nickel plated tubing is probably gonna be the most flashiest thing on this build and maybe the, the GPU block which I have it's boxed up right there I didn't want to really unbox it though so yeah, and it's going to be cooling an R9290. Anyway, so the water leak is going to be coming from the pump reservoir combo. Down into the first hard drive here. The only hard drive, I only got one. And then it's going to come across 
into the giant dark side. 360 millimeter, I think it's like 80 millimeter thick, 60 or 80 millimeter thick. It's big, really thick radiator, the FPI on it, very spread out, I like that. I have two, three Noctuas coming, the brown and black ones, not the ugly puke green or puke beige ones. So yeah, I finally have a, I've always wanted to get Noctua fans and I've never really had a build that would suit them until now, so. And then yeah, it's gonna be going up, coming out here, going up this little area here, into the GPU here, at the very top, out of the GPU, into the CPU, out of the CPU, and then back into the top of the reservoir slash pump. So yeah, still don't have a name for this build guys, but I'm very excited man. 3930K, X79, Sabertooth, R9290, yeah, all custom water loop. Gonna be hanging on the wall. I got um, uh, two different types of digital camel vinyl wrap coming. It's gonna be all digital camel on the back. I was thinking about wrapping the rad. I was thinking about covering the the uh, nickel plated stuff on the GPU block and the hard drive block here in the digital camel, but now that I'm doing the chrome or nickel plated piping, I think I'm gonna leave it. It'll look better with it. Anyway guys, this is part one for my build. I should be getting started with it next couple days. Thanks for watching. Be easy, be cool. See you later, man.